Hey guys, my name is Justin, and today we're gonna to be covering the different bankruptcy alternatives. Welcome to the Ascend Finance YouTube channel, where we try to take complex and hard to understand topics and try to break them down into simple, understandable language. Bankruptcy may be the last thing you want to end up doing, so why not try something else and look into potential alternatives? Well, luckily, there are plenty of alternatives to choose from and learn about, and so I'll go through some of those today. If you are interested to see what your potential estimated cost could be for each of these alternatives, you can actually take our bankruptcy alternative calculator that I linked down in the description below that'll ideally help you compare a personalized set of options based on your specific information and zip code. As always, if you like our videos and have found them to be informative, subscribe or leave a like as those are always encouraging for us to see. So starting off with the first potential alternative, debt settlement. So one bankruptcy alternative that you can look into could be debt settlement. It's also called debt negotiation, potentially debt relief. This can be a great option for you to move forward if your debt foreseeably looks to be unmanageable continue paying on. The big question is, what is debt settlement? In a nutshell, debt settlement is the process of negotiating unsecured debt from, let's say, 100,000 to 50,000. So ideally trying to reduce it about that 50% mark. Generally, you can do this yourself or you can work with a debt settlement firm. There are pros and cons to doing it alone, um, which we actually talk about in a different video, which I can link in the description below. Now I want to touch on the actual process of a debt settlement program and what to expect when going through one. The debt settlement company will make you an escrow account for where all the funds will be collected. And from there, they will actually put together all the payments into one for the creditors. They will now become your primary contact and they will negotiate for you to ideally lower the debt amount. From there, you will have the decision to either accept, decline the new settlements and the new monthly potential payment plans. Now, once you've actually accepted those, you will start setting payments to the creditors until you've finished paying off your debt. Now, at first it sounds pretty great, though we also need to consider the potential negative impacts that it may bring. So one of the main ones is actually the damage to your potential credit score. It really does depend on your situation, but sadly, most of the time, it should have a negative impact on your credit score throughout the process. So with that in mind, it is a good idea to consider the pros and cons, depending on your specific situation. You also have to think about cost and fees of a debt settlement program and what the debt settlement companies will charge you to do the negotiations. So debt settlement companies Companies often charge fees based on the enrolled in debt amount or the amount they will save you. So these are just a few things you should think about before looking in to potentially a debt settlement program or trying to settle a debt yourself. The next option I wanna go through is debt management, similar to debt settlement in certain ways. So debt management is when you collaborate with a company such as a credit counseling company or a debt consolidation company to help you manage the debts you owe. Debt management isn't where a company will actually lend you money or a loan or actually settle the debt amount, debt management is ideally the goal is to reduce the lo and lower your interest rates while paying through the company. For instance, debt management will try to negotiate the interest rate down. So let's say you have it at 22%, they'll try to get it to, let's say, 7%. As well as be able to actually waive certain fees. So this will help you to use that money that you were potentially paying towards the monthly payment that you now owe, which should allow you to pay off the debt faster. So how is the process like when you want to apply for a debt management program? When meeting with a debt management counselor, the agency will look through all of your debts. From there, they'll determine an estimate the amount it'll take to pay off the debts and how long this plan will look towards. Typically, we found that it generally ranged between a three to five year plan, um, but some may vary depending on what you have available to pay. That is when the monthly payment will be created and for you, depending on how much debt you need to pay off. Then you will start making payments towards the company and they will pay your creditors instead. So generally, there is no need to worry about paying every month since they will be paying them directly for you. After a couple of years, you should ideally see them all paid off, though it's important to understand that there are cons attached to this program. And the thing that credit counseling companies and nonprofit debt management agencies generally are great at doing is making, making the debt management program seem as simple as possible. Although you do need to make sure that you're getting the full picture when you're potentially thinking about deciding and enrolling in a debt management program like this. Something you should definitely know is that there are service fees you will probably have to pay for. So not only will you be paying off the debts throughout your monthly plan, but there could be also potential added fees um, that will be paying for the 
company or the agency you're using. Adding those additional fees may actually find that you're not really saving a whole lot of money after the holistic view of the payment plan. Now, not only that, but you also must close all of your credit cards because they wanna make sure you are not owing more in the debt over time. Many people, and as I stated this earlier, many people also will compare a debt settlement program to a debt management program. And besides that, depending on your situation, this can still be a viable option to move forward with. Now, one of the less severe uh, alternatives folks will look into is debt payoff planning. So this is an alternative you can consider and you can use a debt payoff payoff planner or any practice that you find. So for instance, we've recommended the Savvy Debt Payoff Planner, which we built, and it's an it's an app, a phone application that you can use in your iPhone or potentially an Android device that'll help you get out of the debt cheaper, easier, and faster. So the big question is what's actually different about the Savvy Debt Payoff Planner compared to, let's say, the Snowball Method or the Avalanche Method. So first off, the Snowball Method is gonna be looking at your debts um, one by one from the smallest in regards to the total amount of debt you owe to the largest. And so it's gonna be paying off those one by one, tackling the smallest debts first. Now the next method, which folks will look to, is the debt avalanche method. And this is gonna be actually looking at the interest rates rather than the actual debt amount. It's gonna look at the highest interest rate down to the lowest interest rate, and you'll pay them off through that. And then there's the savvy method through the savvy debt payoff planner. Now the savvy method actually is gonna utilize the snowball and the avalanche method combined to ideally get you out of the debt as quickly as possible. So using the savvy method will ideally help encourage you as you pay off the small debts, though it'll also try to gain some of the interest saving by adding in the potential benefits through the avalanche method. So this will help you keep a lookout on your interest rate while also actually getting the psychological benefits from seeing your debts being paid off. If this kind of plan aligns with your financial situation, this then this may be could be a good option for you to use to help you pay off your debts. Now, another debt relief option that folks will look towards is potentially a debt consolidation loan. So you can also look into a debt consolidation loan as an alternative. Basically, a debt consolidation loan is a loan that combines all your debt into one. Since it's just one loan now, you will only have to deal with one monthly payment. For example, let's say you have five credit cards and 10,000 note on each. So in that case, $50,000. And let's say the payment for that's 500 a month. So your average interest rate is 18%. And so what the consolidation loan will do is give you a $50,000 loan, a $475 a month payment, and the interest rate is now at 15%. So now that way you aren't stre as stressed paying back the different loans and losing track of what you're paying and what you're not. Getting a debt consolidation loan also may lower your interest rate as we saw there in the example. Although to get a debt consolidation loan, it does depend on your credit and how much you actually wanna combine into your debt. Now, one thing you also wanna mention is it shouldn't really impact your credit score or report too much. It really shouldn't hurt it. A debt consolidation loan can be, become more manageable for you to use if this actually aligns with what you're specifically looking for. Thank you so much for watching. I know it may have seemed like a lot of information. So if that's the case, and if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and we will do our best to get back to you as quickly as possible. And as always, if you like our videos and have found them to be informative, subscribe to our channel or leave a like as those are always encouraging for us to see. Thanks so much. Have a great day.